Fantastic. We're back on. Right. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time um, to do that. Now, hopefully you found it useful. Uh, you did fill a few things in. If you didn't fill in anything in, then I'm afraid that's telling me that you're going to have to start building your skills and getting better examples and doing some things over the coming weeks and months uh, to kind of beef up some examples that you've got. Um, because certainly good candidates are able to kind of draw on university, draw on work, draw on extracurricular um, and give good examples. So it's there for you to keep. Um, when you do identify the employer that you want to work for, then my advice is you redo that form with the competencies, the transferable skills that the employer that you want is looking for. And then either you can cut and paste for the ones that are the same in terms of transferable skills or new ones. You can then start to enter um, uh, kind of what you need to put in. So what are then some things um, that you can do in the last few minutes? And I'd love to take any questions uh, that you may have um, to build your skills. The first is make sure you're on LinkedIn. I'm sure you all are. And um, if you're not, then you really should be. Um, over 60 percent of uh, graduates now are using LinkedIn in their job hunting. Um, I'll never forget a student that got the job because of LinkedIn. They'd followed someone and found out about Taco Tuesdays. Um, which is this concept where this uh, corporate used to buy free tacos for um, the best sales team. Um, and when she was in her interview, she was talking about in her culture, food is a good way that they come together uh, to get to know each other and spend time together and build relationships. Um, and she really liked that, that they did that as well in this organization. And said, how do you know about Taco Tuesday? Uh, and it was through LinkedIn. So even just silly little things like that can make um, a difference. Instagram, Twitter, great places, particularly nowadays with applications closing very quickly um, or opening up suddenly for a couple of positions that are left. Um, definitely make sure you are uh, following uh, on the right social media for whichever company you want to work for. Um, and look, last few bits of advice from me, um, you know, try not to panic. I've been doing graduate recruitment for 24 years um, and it always recovers and it will do again now. Um, but if you can keep up any extracurricular that you enjoy doing, that can be fantastic. Um, do your research. Really, there's no excuse now not to be starting to identify which sectors, which employers do I want to work for? looking them up, watching videos, connecting with alumni, talking to your career service. There's so much information out there. Um, Glassdoor, if you haven't heard of Glassdoor, um, it's a website where students upload the questions from assessment centres that they went to um, the day before. Um, student room, target jobs, prospects. There's so many sites out there. And um, please, please, please do use as much as you can. Um, do you go to events um, like PwC, for example, has a um, virtual campus that they let you go around uh, and you can do skill sessions. It doesn't matter whether you want to join the employer or not. See what's out there. Talk to kind of friends and colleagues who have done interesting things. Um, and if it's useful, um, join them. Um, if you can volunteer, um, if you can't get work experience, I know it's difficult to get work experience at the moment. If you can't, then volunteering might be something um, that you would want to do. I've heard of students collecting prescriptions for the elderly. Um, and things like that. So work out, you know, is there something in your community that you could do to help volunteer at the moment? Um, tips then, practical tips for the summer, kind of what you should you be doing when you finish um, uh, all your coursework? Um, certainly for me, if you didn't do it today, identifying the sector and the employers that you want to work for. You've started that today in the reflection exercise. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, create a spreadsheet of the employers that you want. Might sound a bit kind of weird and anal, but I promise you it really helps. When do they open? When do they close? Um, what are their transferable skills? What's their selection process? What's their website address? All of this stuff, if you start just putting it together on a spreadsheet, it's going to help you keep on top of all of the different applications that you might want to do. Identify those transferable skills just like we did today and for the ones that you're not as strong at. Find an experience, whether that's volunteering or work experience, that matches that. Um, so you might be able to get yourself something over the summer that will help you develop in the few areas that maybe you're not quite as strong. Also, do look into courses. There could well be some online courses that could help you um, to do that. Employers want all rounders. Um, and that's what I'm sure you can do if you start thinking about where your gaps are. If you're interested in public sector, here's my uh, website address uh, and also my personal email. Um, I have a strategic relationship with BHU, so you're very welcome to kind of reach out to me at um, any point and ask me any question. I'm here to 